What's going on guys in the works and welcome to the lush forest of Vietnam. It's 1969, it's the height of the Vietnam War. Gone are the flashy attachments and crazy vehicles that can do aerial maneuvers. Instead what we've got are the basics, the bare bones. And this is what Bad Company 2 Vietnam is all about. And this is actually one of my favorite aspects of Bad Company 2. It's an awesome expansion. And over the weekend I actually participated in the Reddit community play event on Bad Company 2 Vietnam. Which essentially on Friday, Saturday and Sunday the logic was was to get enough people to join into these servers so that we could populate them, you know, have some fun. Even I tweeted it out and said, hey, I'm going to be playing on so-and-so server. We got a, a bunch of really good guys in there, and I had a blast. You know, I really did enjoy playing this. I wish that, uh, I wish this game still had a, a really big following because uh, I don't really think it gets the respect it deserves. That's probably partly because this wasn't a huge expansion. You basically got four maps, you know, your default game modes. You didn't get a ton of new weapons. There were some new weapons here and there. Uh, but most of them really kind of behaved like their Bad Company 2 counterparts, and heck, even some of them were in Bad Company 2. So um, there are a lot of different aspects of this game, though, that are really bare bones. I mean, the helicopters, they can get damaged really easily. I mean, the Huey is pretty much two guns on the side. You know, you've got your pilot that can shoot the rocket pod, but this thing can get taken down pretty easily. It's pretty vulnerable to any sort of gunfire, uh, so it makes it it makes it pretty balanced in my eyes but if you get a competent pilot you know you get a couple engineers that are in there repairing you can keep this thing up in the sky for a good long time long as you're landing doing your repairs and whatnot now one of my favorite aspects of this game was always been the tanks because the tanks move a lot more realistic in my eyes in Vietnam than let's say Battlefield 3 you know they move a little bit slower the turret speed seems a little bit more clunky it just seems more realistic to me and I really like the mounted machine gun on top and this is going to be a pretty good little streak here I think I get like eight kills in like a three minute span or maybe a little bit shorter maybe just under two minutes I, I don't actually remember but we actually go on a pretty good tear in this thing and um, like I said it's a lot of fun you get a, a crew that's actually repairing your tanks you can push forward you can push them back and one of the one of the sad parts about uh, this game is it's really easy if you get on a good team to push them all the way back in their spawn and at that point it does get a little bit frustrating one of the problems with some of these bad company 2 Vietnam maps is that they are very very spawn campy you can basically get them pushed all the way back where they're just running out to die I mean it happens a lot in even Battlefield 3 maps and, and normal you know vanilla bad company 2 maps but I think it's a huge problem here in Vietnam uh, you'll see it throughout this video, a couple instances where we're just basically, you know, dominating the other team. Uh, but that doesn't take away the fun factor. I think the atmosphere in, in Vietnam is just, it's just top notch. Like, that was one of my favorite things about this. I think I probably have just under two hour, 200 hours played in Battle Company 2, including Vietnam. I would say probably about 60 to 70 of those hours are actually on the Vietnam expansion, which isn't a ton, but it's a lot considering just how small this expansion actually was. And... Um, you know, it didn't really get a lot of playtime. Like I said, I can I, I can kind of attribute that to the fact that it didn't have a lot of maps. Um, if you look at the server populations just in the U.S., you might have two or three fully populated servers that you can hop onto at any given day. Whereas with the default Bad Company, th Bad Company 2, I almost said Bad Company 3, we could only wish, we could only wish for Bad Company 3, but yeah, any given day on like Bad Company 2, I think you could probably find you know, easily 30 really healthy populated servers in the U.S. for Bad Company 2. So um, there's definitely no shortage of people playing this game. There's just a shortage of people playing the expansion. Uh, but luckily, the Reddit community play event weekend went over pretty well in my eyes. I mean, there seemed to be a larger number of servers going, you know, more... Uh, more variety out there. Unfortunately, there were no rush servers going, which was a kind of a, a downer because I've never, you know... Since I've picked this game back up on PC, I had to start over at level 6. And, ooh, Jake going to do a jump shot. <laughs> Get owned. Um, but since I started playing again on PC, I haven't been able to find a lot of different rush servers. It seems like uh, most of the servers that are running are Conquest, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but I guess that's just the way it is. They're going to play the most popular game type. But rush is a lot different in Bad Company 2 than it was in... Uh, uh, than it was in Battlefield 3. I think I prefer it in Battlefield 3, uh, but I, I, that's just my opinion. I'm sure some of you guys might disagree with me, uh, but I do like Conquest a lot better in Bad Company 2 than I did in uh, Battlefield 3. For whatever reason, it seems to be flip-flopped in my eyes, um, but th like I said, that's just my opinion. I, I enjoy Conquest on this, though. I think it works really well on all these Vietnam maps because um, these maps are just awesome. I love the look of them. The atmosphere in this game is just top-notch, like I was saying. I think that really adds to... Um, 
the way that I feel when I play this game. I mean, if you look at this game, it's pretty bare bones. There's not a lot of flashes and frills to it. And I think that's what kind of brings me back and why I, talk, I tend to gravitate towards uh, this game. Just because it feels a lot like the first-person shooters of old. It feels like the old Battlefield. It feels like an updated back Battlefield 2 to me. Um, just because, you know, it's got a, a clean look to it. Yet the atmosphere is grungy. You know, it's got dirt on your weapons. I love the way, like, the M16 look. It you know, it has that little, like, rust look to it. It looks like it's been through battle. It's been through hell and back. And, I mean, that's what Vietnam was all about. I mean, it was always raining there. It was always muddy. It was always icky. And I think these maps really kind of cap capture the spirit of it. So, if you're interested in playing this, though, you can probably find the Bad Company 2 with this expansion for under 20 bucks. I would wager. Uh, I know when I bought this for my current PC on... or I think I have it on Steam, actually. I think I got it for, like, 15 bucks, and it included you know all the DLC and the expansion so uh, if you're interested in playing this like I said there there's enough servers where you could play anytime you want uh, there's just not a lot of varieties of servers so depending on where you live will really kind of determine where, whether or not you know you'll have a good connection to a healthy server or not so uh, I don't know check out game servers see if there's one around you that you think that you would like to play on maybe pick this game up if you're looking some for some variety because you know this is a really awesome experience but if you missed any of my past videos here's a chance to catch up and hopefully you guys did enjoy this variety today and I will see you guys next time peace